Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel, where I love to bring you my best idea for creating DIYs for home decoration. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made three beautiful DIYs for spring decoration. And also, uh, today is another round of What Month Is It collaboration. This collaboration is hosted by Tammy from Happiness Created. She has two cohorts, Jelena from Jelena Blood Next Door and Christine from Christine Dye Work Catholic. And the special guest host is Annie from Indiana Jones. Don't forget to check out the channels. You will find the links as well as the playlist in the description box below where you will enjoy watching amazing crafters making incredible projects. Without further, let's go ahead and jump into my project. Alors, for today's DIYs, I'm adding daisies because it's most often designated as the April bread flowers. I searched out and I found the variety and color for daisies that I want to make with my Cricut today. The first thing that I need to make these paper flowers is cardstock. I got them from Michaels. Then I have been working on my Cricut design. I'm looking for daisy flowers in project section. Now I am putting my paper into my Cricut machine to turn this cardstock into a roll paper flower with different colors. To make these flowers I need hot glue and slot tool or a quilling tool to roll our flowers. I want them to look natural. I am gonna give them some bloom by curling a little bit these petals using my slot or even paintbrush, you can use it. For this project, I need this cute paper with this design and flat canvas. Also, I need four wood rulers. So I'm gonna glue these rulers of each side of the flat canvas with my wood glue and paint it with white chalk paint. Glue this paper on the top of the canvas I beaded these beads inside the thread and then gluing them in the corner as you see in the picture this beads has the same color as my design so I chose the yellow, light green and white I'm adding now my beautiful daisy flower Adding some glitter glue on the top so make it shiny and add some dimension to my design. I curled thin rope with the pearl lace for the hanger to make it shine a little bit. Now I'm making a bow with this floral ribbons. Beautiful colors match with my diseased flower too. I glue it in the corner with my hot glue. Et voila! It's pretty sign. I love it. And what do you think? It's easy and simple. You can make your own. So let me know in your comment below if you like it. And now you're gonna jump to the second DIY. For the second DIY, I'm using this calendar 2022. I choose the, the month of April. Beautiful picture, and I have this sign from Dollar Tree. I have two wood rollers. I put them as a frame, one on top of the, the, the bottom. I have a ribbon and some this is flower that I made before with leaves. So first, I I trim the the this picture, cut it and glue it on the sign carefully because it's very uh, fragile paper and uh, the wood rollers uh, stain them then I glue them on the sign I'm adding ribbon, one on the top and on the bottom. I 
I'm trying to match all colors. This ribbon match with the colors of this picture. And I cut a piece of this burlap with the card white cardboard to, to make a basket. I glue them all together. I make a basket. It's, it's hard. It looks like a real basket. Now I'm adding what else? Look at these flowers. It's so cute. And some leaves. I glue them all together. I want to add some embellishment. This pearl lace and this silver ribbon with gin on top. So cute. I added pearl lace on the top and the bottom on uh, the two ribbons and uh, I'm making a uh, crazy bow so I'm adding more details to make it cute and pretty sign as you see now what do you think if you like it please let me see in your comment and now let's jump to DIY number three for this last DIY I'm using this frame, this scrapbook paper with this design and this bike, wood bike and uh, the metallic spray. I'm gonna spray my bike as you see on the, on the desk. I sprayed already. I'm cutting this picture of this paper to make it as background to this frame, glue it. Hmm, there is a mess on my desk. Don't worry. Oh, no, no. And one, one, one. Let me see. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Et voilà. <laughs> ah, it's cute. This wreath, I color it with the white paint or chalk paint. I'm adding some leaves. Coloring uh, flower, adding some some gems on these flowers to add more dimension to this breath. Oh no, no, it's a book. Painting uh, the the sides of this pipe to add more colors because my ribbon has this light blue so I want to add this color on my bike I'm uh, using these stencils you can use stickers wood letters as you want I'm spelling the word hello on this frame gluing this red on the bike the bow. Bike, bike, bike is here. Okay. Put them all together. I'm adding this daisy flower to say hello. I'm here with the glue glitter to make it shiny. Look at this ribbon. Now it's cute. I got it from Michaels. Okay, this ribbon has two loops and I attach them all together. I'm adding all blue on the pipe to match all colors together. Final sign is here now. It's not cute. Look at that. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like it, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So you will not miss any of my projects. 
So take care and see you soon. Bye.